Hey guys, it's this is a what this is a Naruto what ifs and in this what if this is what if Naruto lived in the whirlpool and um this ain't my story I will I will put the link of the original creator of this story but later in time I will make my own what if Naruto was in the world i'll make my own but let's do this one and yeah let's get started Chapter 1. Fabio Naruto Uzumaki was panting hard as he finally evaded the angry mob that was chasing him. What do I ever what did I ever do to them? Yeah, I mean yeah, I pranked them, but it that's because they hurt me. The small blood said to himself. He sighed and peeped out to make sure the clo the coast was clear. It was a green light, and he moved quickly to avoid being spotted and end up in his ramsack apartment. He opened the door to find it was broken into and ramsacked once again. He was he, with, once again, with hateful graffiti smeared all over the walls, while most of his possessions have been destroyed once again. He sighed and began to pick up the pieces of his broken items cleaning up was always such a pain just another day for him scene break the the next day naruto was again being chased by an angry mob his head was bleeding from a bottle that had been thrown at him the blood was running down his face and neck it was blurring his vision but still he proceeded on. His legs were squirming in pain for him to rest, but he ignored the pain. He kept running till he collided with someone and fell to the ground painfully. He looked up scared of his mind since he knew that it would be a matter of time before he was beaten by the mob. Hey, are you alright? Naruto looked up and saw a man with short spiky red hair and crystal blue eyes that looked familiar look awfully familiar to the short blonde the man looked down at him with concern before naruto could speak the mob arrived there you are demon we are going to finish what the fourth started once the mob shouted one of the mob one of the mob shouted demon this is just a young child, not a demon whatsoever. The man said confused. It's a demon, all right. It's just, it's just taking the form of a child, a woman squeaked. The man looked confused, but then saw something that catch his eye. Naruto's shirt had ran up a bit when he fell down, and he didn't push it, it down at all. The man crouched down and made a made to look at Naruto's stomach. Naruto saw the movement movement and flinched. It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt you," said the said the man. The man said softly. Naruto was hesitant, but he allowed the man to do what he was going to do. The man put Naruto's shirt up and used some chocolate and and it revealed the seal on Naruto's stomach. He was shocked that at what he saw, but then he knew 
he needed to know something else. But the the boy just felt familiar to him. Something drawing to him, drawing him to the to the boy. What's your name? Said the man. The man asked. N- N- Naruto Zamaki, Naruto said. The man, the man's eyes widened, then arrowed at the crowd that still leading. He got up, glared, glaring at them. You dare to harm one of the last Uzumaki bloodline? The man growled. He's just a demon that needs to be killed. A man in the crowd shouted, You shall, you signed your death warrant. Death warrant. The man said, and slash forward with amazing speed. The mob was cut down and none were left alive. The man cleared his sword, cleaned off his sword he had used, then turned back at to Naruto, who was laying on the ground, still in shock of what he had just seen. Come on, I'm going, I am taking you out of here, the man said. Naruto didn't get a word in as he was picked up and carried away from Konoha. Scene break. He was in Sanatobi, had his head in his hands. The huge pile of paperwork on his desk was ignored. His head swam up and piece of the other person. Any sign? He asked in a very tired voice. No, Lord Hokage, I'm sorry, the Anbu said, shaking his head. Very well, you're, you are excused, he was and said with a sigh. The Anbu nodded and left. It has been three days since Naruto has, since Naruto was last seen in the village. No one has seen him since and has troubled the the air, air ruler. He had made a promise to his good friend to watch over Naruto and had failed this. The team of Anbu that was supposed to watch Naruto at all time took off early before the mob began. When when he was and finally found this out, he cleared them all out before demanding them, deporting them all. He then went searching for Naruto but only found the, the bloody mess, but no sign of Naruto at all. This worried the old regular mighty. Then the rest of the village catch when that Naruto was gone. A huge celebration celebrated all over. Huizen was angered by this and sent out his forces to stop the celebration celebrating to the disappearance of a young child was sticking. Sicking was sinking. Nato, where are you? He asked as he looked out the window. Break scene. Naruto was now in the usual place. He looked around trying to figure out his new surroundings. But came up with nothing. Soon the door opened and the girl his age walked and carried a tray of food. Oh good, you're awake, she said with a smile. Um, who are you? Said Naruto. My name is Mika. The ghost said, then walked over and placed the tray of food on Naruto's lap. Mika had long red hair with yellow ribbon tied to it that kept most of her red locks away from her face. It helped when she trained not to have her hair in her face. She wore a simple camo in the color of deep 
aqua with coal fish in many colors. She had green eyes that were stunning. Naruto's mouth sobered as the rich smiles hit his nose. He wanted to figure, he wanted to fight the urge to vanish what was before him, but couldn't. It was a bloodbath in the food eating scene. <laughs> Mika sat down knowing that what her uncle had told her when he found Naruto. Naruto was moundish and probably hadn't had a delight meal ever. So she wasn't disgusted at all. All through she didn't she did hope Naruto had some manners though. So. When Naruto was finished she pant panted his stomach. Man, that was good, he sighed. Glad you like it Mika said with a smile. Yeah, so where am I? Naruto asked. You're in the new whirlpool. Naruto turned and saw it was the same man he first saw back in Konoha. With, with this, Mika took the tray and left the room, leaving just Naruto and the man alone. My name is Hideku. How are you feeling, Naruto? He asked. Fine, though. Why am I here? Naruto asked. You didn't know anything about your family? Hideku asked, going. Naruto shook his head. No, I've tried to ask the old man, but he told me I he told me he tell me when I was older, he said. Old man, Hideku asked curiously. Yeah, he's the Hokage, Naruto said. I see, Hideku said with annoying eyes. I mean I see, Hideku said with annoying eyes. So why am I here? Naruto asked again. This is going to be a long talk, Hideku said with a sigh. Um, he walked over putting up a chair next to Naruto's bed. He then told Naruto about his family, the Uzumaki clan. The Uzumaki was one of the most powerful clans in all, the fun, all of the fine nations. Fine. They had their own village with just Uzumakis and clans that were cousins of the Uzumakis, called the Whirlpool. Because of the huge Whirlpools that, that surrounded and protected the village, they lived with instantly till peacefully till the second Shinobi War came in can I and how we invaded invaded and destroyed Whirlpool. It was said there were no survivors, but that wasn't true. Several survived the slaughter and set up a new smaller village where Naruto is now. Now the new village was well hidden and not many knew where it was. There was many seals around the village to counter to counter it as well as protect it too. Naoto couldn't believe all he was being told, extremely the fact that he was la was the last of the Uzumaki bloodline. He found out about his mother and father who was the man that sealed the QB. He also found out he was one of the head the Q and he he also found out he was the one that held the QB. Naruto know that you're not the QB. You're just counter You are just condoning it. You and it are not the same, Hideku said. Naruto nodded. Naruto just nodded. 
Hideku cause since Naruto was still coming to terms with all of that was dropped on him so he left to give Naruto some time to think scene break once Naruto was feeling well enough he left his bed and given a tour by Mika she was she was so happy to have this duty and did her best to show Naruto all of the new whirlpool Naruto find the place was very warm and welcoming he was welcomed by all they meet and they were happy that he was there since he was one of the last of the bloodline he still didn't know what that meant what that meant so he just ignored it for now so what do you think naruto and mika asked as they for finish the tour it's great naruto said i'm glad mika said naruto smiled he le he learned more about the village that he was ready to call home he decided not to come back to konoha this was home to him to be around his own blood his family he met more of his family as well as clans that were connected with his clan in some shape or form shape or form naruto was never happier in his life same break Ser years later naruto was now 14 and a four ledge shinobi of the new whirlpool village he along with mika and his other teammate ryo with joni sensei hideko naruto was their main fighter using ninjutsu taijutsu and fionjutsu with mika their medic nin but she was more than a capital capital in fight any fight then there was Ryo Ryo perfected Kenjutsu and selected in it to and almost mastered the level even though he is a Genning Hideku watched over all of them Naruto has changed a whole whole lot since he started calling calling the new will pull his home he ditched the old jumpsuit jumpsuit according to wear some shinobi a client clothing he wore shinobi style black pants along with a dark green long sleeve shirt with a specially made vest to hold the northern scrolls he carried he had a gray touch coat that had a huge image of the whirlpool on his on the back on his feet there their black comet boots combat boots but they had seals to make them silent and for durability. He also became more more saunas and serious. A side of a side that Konoha would be shocked to see Naruto was quite ignorant, but since but since pretty much everyone in the leaf thought of him as a demon, he he hid the brain. But now, in his new home, where he was welcome and cheered, really cherished, really, he allowed himself to remove the mask of ignorance and stupidity. Naruto was also called the last Uzumaki since blood that runs through his veins is the purest to the Uzumaki blood Uzumaki line. Everyone in the new 
the everyone in the new world pro had Uzum, had Uzumaki blood in various percentages, but Naruto's was the most pure in making rightful heir to the Uzumaki clan. Mika didn't change much since meeting Naruto. The two became instantly friends, and Mika was Naruto's best friend in in combat. They shared a sibling relationship with each other. She still wore her hair, hair the same way through she had cut it shorter with a sh- yellow with with the yellow rod now used to tie in short ponytail she told naruto it was easier to manage too easy to manage naruto was confused about this but took her word for it mika now Wears a plain green Okunichi Kunichi battle dress with the Uzumaki swarm on both of her shoulders in the color of blue. She carries several po- poisons and issues antidotes and and other things a medic nin would need to carry. She also had a tum tumbo on her back as well. She was the great in medic jutsu. She was also good in tai jutsu too. She was called the Sunade Sunade of the Wolfus and she was just since she was just as famous as the legendary queen slug queen except she didn't have the slug queen's legacy legendary strength yet rio kisugai was a brown haired black eyed boy from the kisanai clan he liked to use Kenjutsu mainly, but was very good at Genjutsu too. He didn't like using Nenjutsu, and his Taijutsu was inadequate enough. He wore a mesh top with a brown shirt over it, along with black shinobi pants along with along with study shannon and crew guards that with in with the introducing of chakra could fire off kunai or shuriken thanks to seals a opponent in amended in the shin and ankle guards a kenai a kenai is on his back while keeping his other weapons and scrolls on his on his person like a command term konoha's weapons mass stands his clan his clan has a history with naruto's and they were they were their bodyguards of the Uzumakis as well as their personal assistants too. All three were excited with excellent. All three were excellent with Flinjutsu, which is tied all new well Pushinobis have started then they are young. They started when they are young, and since it it's in their blood, it isn't. It didn't take long for the kids to know how to exalt tags. By the age of six, 
and strong scrolls storage scrolls by seven. They are taught what they needed they need to be a shinobi at the academy. The Flinjutsu is tied by the entire village. Anyone knew Flinjutsu though on different levels. Naruto was different since he started late. But didn't take him long to catch up since he had diff skills different skills manually because who his parents were he was also the most creative when it comes to flinjutsu and extreme expanded a lot with them creating new seals and no other flinjutsu master had ever taught of before he was healed as a he was held as a prodigy at the moment of the team was on their way back f- from a mission then they Mika sent something she was also a sessionary sensor no let's go with that in the team what is it, Mika? Not go that. Um, I start that. What is it, Mika? Said Naruto. Would asked the several, the several chocolate signature over there. Mika said, "Let's check it out." Hideko said. The team came over and saw a battle happening at the moment. They saw a team of Genin guarding an old man while their Joni sensei was fighting. That's man, that man is Sabasa, a swordsman of the Hidden Mist, Ryo said. No one questioned him since he knew all about Kenjutsu users in the world. Shit! They're from Konoha, Naruto mumbled, talking, it, talking a closer at, taking a closer look at the headband. Hideko knew this could be trouble if they if they were find out. He had kidnapped Naruto as from his home, really, but before he could give a order to leave, they saw. The Konoha joining go in for the kill, but was stopped by a Miss Hunter Nin. I like to thank you for sentin for assassinating me. Assisting me, sorry. I I'd like to thank you for assisting me. I have been looking for Sabaza for quite a while. Oh and for in and the bunnies come out. The hunter nin. Oh, and the four in the bushes came out. The hunter nin. Wait, with a few glimpses. The more glimp with a few glimpses. The the new whirlpool team admired out out of their hiding place they shocked the konoha team was given a chance for the hunter nin to take sabaza's body away who are you and why are you here the joning asked take take it easy i am hudeku and me and my team were on the way back f- from a mission when one of my Genning senses your battle, Hideku said, the Joni had white hair sp- spiking up and had a mask covering his mouth, looked at his team. He looked at the headband and was shocked at the symbol on it. It couldn't be. On the headband was a swell, a, sw- a swell symbol. Sorry, on the headband was a swirl symbol. He was quite familiar with that mean what that meant. Whirlpool. They were destroyed, he said. That may be that may that's what may of you thought, Kakashi Hatake. 
but there were survivors. We had gathered the and started a new village and stay hidden so we wouldn't be wiped out, Hideko said. I see. I see. It seems you well informed though. Well formed though, Kakashi said. We are. So what are you doing here if I don't if you don't mind me asking, Hideko said. Kakashi was about to tell them then a shark was headed. Shake was near. Hikashi said, Sensei, why should we tell them they are f- for a nin- ninja? The shake came. The, the, the squeak came from a pink haired girl. Look, girly, you are too young to know this, but Konoha and Whirlpool have a long starting allowance with one one another with one another you should know that since the swell on that on your flame jackets on and other shinobi items are are the symbol of the whirlpool Hideko said glaring at the pink girl glaring at pink haired girl kakashi apologized apologized then told the new whirlpool team their mission i see hideko said you got your hands full then that so-called hunter nen didn't even kill zabaza mika 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 said what and how do you know that pink hill goes squeaked squeaked First of all, talk like a normal person and stop squeaking. Second, I am I am a trained medic medic nin and know that and and know what that hunter nin did cause Zabaza is going into a near death state, Mika said. The pink-haired girl was about to argue, then Naruto jumped in. He wasn't going to let some some annoying Binchi criticai, criticize his first and best friend. There, there's also the fact that the hunter nins cut the head off of their target, then burned the body. That's one didn't. That one didn't do it either. That thus making it suspicious, said Naruto. Kakashi's eyes widened. Then he looked at Naruto. It, it couldn't be. He looked just like his sensei, really. Um, is your name Naruto, he asked. Yes, it is. My name is Naruto Uzumaki, Genin of the, 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 of the village of New Wopu, Naruto proud said pr- naruto said proudly well now that is cleared up and now we best be going good luck on your mission Hideku said we, we wanted to get out of there as soon as he could just in case kakashi tried to steal naruto away wait do you think you could help us out we're still alien alliance and and we Appreciate it. We, we will appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate it. I can't say that word. You know, <laughs> okay, is, um, let's just keep going. Kakashi said he wanted to know more about Naruto since he was the one who of the few Anbu that kept looking for him. Even after the official search was called off, he just knew Naruto wasn't dead. And was so glad to see him alive, even though he was wearing an other shinobi's headband. I didn't know we sh- we should be heading back to report. Hideku said, hesitantly, since he didn't want Naruto exposed to Konoha any more than needed. No problem, Hideku. Naiko said, not having the same concern as his sensei. He then bite his lip and did some hand signs 
and slam his hand down. Summoning Chutsu! A big poof of white smoke emerged, and then it cleared on overlaying large terror club appeared. A, a large tiger cub appeared. It was the size of a it, it was the size of a lava board. Hey Naruto, what's up? The tiger cub said, raising its paw and greeting. Hey Sumichi, can you give this to Andy and tell her we are helping Konoha Shinobi? Naruto asked as he joined down a note then handed it to the tiger cub. No problem, Shujinchi said, taking the skull in its mouth, then poofing away. What was that? A black-haired boy asked. It's called a summoning. I hold several summoning contracts, said Naruto. That was true. Naruto did hold many summoning contracts, He, and he shared them with his two teammates as one of the last true Uzumakis has carried several summoning scrolls to several beasts. Uzum the Uzumakis were, once, uh, were the ones to create and then this and dissolve many of the and develop many of the summoning contracts that were out uh, were out in the world. Give me one, the black haired boy demanded. No, Naruto said. The black haired guy the black the black haired boy glared and charged at Naruto, but he was stopped a few feet but he was stopped a few feet from Naruto when when a blade of a katana was at his throat. The black hair I mean sorry, that's I mean when the when a blade of a blade of a katana was at his throat. Our village may be alliance. But if you try to hurt Naruto, I won't hesitate to kill you," said with a, a demonic, murderous glare. It was known fact in the village that Ryo's family, the Kisanan, Kisanan, Kisanan clan, were close bodyguards of the Uzumaki. I mean. Were close bodyguards of Naruto's clan. Ryo took his responsibility. Spon Ryo took his responsibility very serious. No one was going to get close to Naruto on his watch. Hey, you couldn't. You can't do that to Sasuke. The pink-haired goat squeaked. Squeaked. Can I shut her up? I want to keep my ears. Mika's as as she pulled out a few sun something seam born seam born needles from her hip pouch. No you can't make a real stand down. No you can't make a Rico settle down. Hideku ordered Only if he does, Rico said. Hideku sighed and looked at Kakashi. Back off, Sasuke, Kakashi said. Sasuke hummed. Humped. Then he, then he went back to his team, glaring all the way. Ryo put his katana away, but kept his eyes on the Konoha team. He wasn't going to let them hurt his hurt his chance let's lead to the bridge builder home let's let's lead to the bridge builder the let's lead the bridge builder okay let's lead the bridge bridge builders home and we we can discuss things there kakashi adjusted suggested Um, with that, the two teams got 
to the bridge builder's home. They were, they were greeted by the man's daughter and has and his grandson. One settled, which it which it was decided they stayed sleep. Decided they stay sleep with their own team. They gathered in the living room for a meeting. Well, this is surprising finding that people of the whirlpool are are alive. But I'm I am, but I am really glad. Kakashi said, "What's so great about them?" Sasuke asked. Many things, Chiha. We are one. Many things, Chiha. We are one of the first villages known in history. We are, we're we're known for Flanjutsu and have the most powerful clan in history. We are also known for our long, for our long, for our long utility too. Hudeku said, "No clan is stronger than our Chiha clan." Sasuke glared. The pink hair gold guy heart got hearts in her eyes as she stared at Sasuke. Kakashi, you might want to beat the fan goat out of her before she gets herself killed. Gets her hell, gets herself and her team killed, Naruto said. Shut up, loser. You're just jealous of Sasuke. The pink hair squeaked. Why would I be? Why would I be jealous of of a boring Emo with the with the biggest rustiest rustiest kunai in the world, solve up his backside. And whose only goal in life is to kill his own blood because what seemingly happened, Naruto said. Sasuke, eyes narrowed, as he looked at Naruto. What do you know of it? What do you know of it? He asked. I know a lot of things. I know a lot. I can't. I can tell you that you're nothing compared to your brother. He's stronger, wiser, way cooler than you could ever be, and you never beat him. Not to say. Sasuke jumped up and was ready to attack Naruto, but was stopped by Ryo's deadly glare. Where is it? Where is he? Where is Itachi? The Chiho demanded. Can't tell you. I was sworn to secret seek to I was sworn to secretly said Naruto Sasuke looked ready to explode calm down Sasuke we are we are getting off topic we are need to we we meet, we we what we need to do is figure out how what is to do next what is to do next sorry Kakashi said, dragging his student back to his seat. Simple. We heard the news to the Gakko ruling over waves that a train rent Ryo could take care of him while the rest of us can handle Zawaza and his partner, Hodeku said. Really? Kakashi asked with surprise and leans in his voice. Yes. Ryo... Rio's clan is, 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 yes, Rio's clan, the best in Kenjutsu, and not only sworn bodyguards of the Uzumaki clan, but they are the best and known assassins. They have really failed, they, they have ri- rarely failed in taking out their opponent, their target, Adeku said. Kakashi was interested in this since he never heard of Ryo's clan at all but form but informed on the wolf's pool was quite suspicious um but informed on the wolf pool was quite was quite expiring it <laughs> sorry i mean um but informed on nar and information on the whirlpool was quite spaceless. Most of the history that was lost at the whirlpool was distorted and really little is known. Well, most of most are just rumors. Hmm. Sasuke glared. Tell me, Kakashi, what have you taught your Ganning? Naruto asked. 
Just team building skills. Just team building skills, Kakashi said. That's it? You haven't taught them tree climbing or water walking? Naruto asked. Um, no. Kakashi said sleepily. Sheepishly. The, the new Wopo team locked, looked at each other. Three climbing three climbing and and water walking was taught well at the Kami as well as Taijutsu, Nenjutsu, Genjutsu weapons training and other skills as well as slight class work. What in the world did Konoha teach for Ganning? It seems you have work to do, Kakashi. Why don't my team guard the bridge barrier while you train up your team? Hideki adjusted. Sounds great. I mean, sounds good, Kakashi said with a eye smile. Well, this is where I'm going to left it off, guys. I hope you like this. And yeah, I will come back and do another part of this. I see you guys later. Bye-bye.